not every like I said, not everybody wanna see you win. Some people just be low key haters. Yeah. And I ain't even peep when I was younger. I used to be like, like damn, you feel that way? Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. Shot, shot versus A Bite Podcast, episode 210. We got a uh, young artist in the building. You know what I'm saying? She made me feel old as hell and shit, dog. <laughs> God damn, when I got her age, I'm like, damn, I'm old as fuck. But we, uh, we got Nettie in the building, man. She a rap artist. You sing a little bit, huh? Um, still a tad. A little bit, a little bit. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. How you feeling? Uh, see, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. You said you had a long, long day yesterday, huh? Yeah, very long day. I'm talking about what would you, what would you go to? What would you doing? Uh, we had, I had a show and then I also had a podcast as well. Yeah. How was yeah, that? It was lit. It was lit, actually. Yeah, we had a really nice time. Yeah. You, you've been used to this? Is this something that you feel you can get used to talking all the time, trying to, you know what I'm saying, introduce yourself to the people and shit, you know what I'm saying, shaking hands, kissing babies? I'm dead. Like, yeah, uh, it, it took me a little minute because I'm not, like, that social, but, you know, I'm trying to warm it up to the... yeah. Now you gotta get there. Niggas gonna you gotta talk, you gotta sell yourself, you gotta pitch yourself to the people, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you ain't gonna speak for yourself. So it's a lot of trash ass rappers that get fans off of how they are, you know what I'm saying, personality wise. Yeah, my so, music speaks for itself. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. I'll listen to it. We're gonna we gonna definitely gonna tap into that a little bit later. But uh we start every uh, episode with Salute Me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers instead of, you know what I'm saying, giving them to them while they can still smell it. So but it can't be, I don't know you, you know what I'm saying, if you're in a relationship, but it can't be nobody you're in a relationship with. It can't be mom or dad. It got to be somebody out there that you want to go ahead and show some love to and still alive. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> some movies. Sorry. So, so sorry. Are you good? If you're somebody that you want to give some flowers to and still alive that's, that's not your mom or dad. Right. So, um, that's not my mom or dad. Yeah, or, you know, so you're little one thing. Can't be that either. Um, <laughs> I would say probably my my sister. Okay, okay, okay. What's her, shout her out. What's her name? Who's her name is Arya. Right. I, I would probably say her because she if I know that if ain't nobody else supporting me, she you know she always been there hundred percent. For sure. Yeah, I would definitely give them to her. Okay, okay, okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to uh, you said Ari. Yeah. All right, shout out to all right, shit, man. I ain't got nobody to salute. It's episode 210. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I salute enough for y'all niggas, dog. See my son. Just because yesterday was his homecoming and shit. That was his last homecoming here, motherfucking senior. So I'm, yeah, I'm, that's why I say I'm getting old, bro. Get old, shit. <laughs> but uh, talk about this year. What did you go into 2024 wanting to achieve music wise and personal wise? Um, music wise. <laughs> I would say just trying to like perfect my craft more and mm-hmm. just get further along, like further than where I am. For sure. Now, and I can say I've like done that. Like I've gotten further. So by the end of the year, I'm hoping to be, you know, at a really good space. Yeah. And I would say like personally. Mm-hmm. That's not a hard question, but like. And it could be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Focus on the music, but shit, you gotta still focus on yourself too. Cause if you ain't satisfied personally, you ain't gonna be, you know what I'm saying, getting away and shit. I would say I've come a long way with like controlling like my emotions. Mm-hmm. You're like a scrapper, like you, like you, fight, you used to fight and shit, bro. Like I'm a peacemaker. Okay, okay, okay. You used to be a scrapper, huh? Nope. But you say you want to, okay, okay, so things you want to achieve. What was some shit that you went to the new year, like, I need to fix, because I'm, like, I need to leave this shit behind, like, that you may be holding you back? Procrastination. hundred mm-hmm. percent, like, um, I needed to be more focused. Mm-hmm. Like, I can get distracted very fast, really yeah. very fast, and, yeah, I would just say procrastination. That's like my biggest thing. That's like my biggest enemy. I can get distracted and I halfway do something, never come back to it. For sure. It just won't get done. So now is that with like like music shit too? Like you, you writing a song and then you be like, damn, I get back to it. 
Yeah, yeah. So even with music too, like if I if I like if I'm writing or making music and I don't come back to it, it's probably because I just wasn't then believe in something. Yeah, or something. So I just started something new. Yeah. But yeah, mainly just with like personal stuff that's going on. Like I would always procrastinate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Now you young, so you really ain't been struggling too much. But to give me a time that you feel like it ain't gonna get no better. Like, have you had a time that you like in a situation where you feel like, damn, I I can't get out this motherfucking shithole? Um, yeah. Talk about that shit. How many? How many things? That's what I said. That's why I give you a lesson beforehand. If you some of you want to talk about, let me know before. No, like, no, that's that's a good question as well. Yeah. But it's just like, I would say. Like I say, I know you're young, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you've been through some shit. I've been through some shit. Broke days, everything. Relationships. That's... That's a long story. Relationship? That's a long story. So that's your story. I would say, like, just stuff that's going on, like, with me, like, internally mm. and, like... Stuff with myself, yeah. I feel like that was like my biggest battle. Mm. Uh, family, yeah. Everything was like probably like crashing down at mm. the same time. Mm. And yeah, like right. so, I can close with your family, like your parents and shit like that, like the household, like you know, what I'm saying, talk about like where you from and all that shit. Like, like you on that? Uh, I'm from the city. I was born in West Virginia, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm very close to my family. Everybody in my family, like we crazy, mm -hmm. but. We all, we be bumping heads sometimes, but we all, you yeah. know, love each other at the end of the day. Yeah. West side, you said? Uh, west. West side. <laughs> from west side. Hell, I can't, you know, east side people. I'm still in the west now, but I'm from the east. I'm from over this way. So, uh, yeah. What, what part of west side? Where? Uh, six mile. Oh, yeah. See, I, I don't know shit about the west side. Like, even to this day, I still be GPS and shit. Like, I don't fuck with the, with the west side. Yeah, no, nah, that's me on the east. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you say in the household, who was in there? Like, you got siblings? Like, talk about that. I know you, you touched on your sister, but any more of y'all? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of us. Yeah. We got, I got, like, four brothers. Mm -hmm. And then I got, like, I got two sisters. Yeah. And, yeah, they, they all younger than me. Well, I have, like, one older sister, but the rest of them are, like, 14 and under. Yeah. I got like a brother that just turned one. Mm. Oh, shit. You old. We still getting siblings. <laughs> at, like, I be thinking, like, who was still getting siblings? I'm like, but. No, for sure. <laughs> Sister slash mama in this mess. <laughs> Hell no, but no. That's what I'm saying. What's, uh, what's something that, so I'm going to go back and forth with personal and artist shit, but what's something that you like? What's the, what's the toughest part about being an artist on the come up? The toughest part. Shit. Definitely ain't making the music. Really? That's the easy part, huh? Yeah, that's the easy part. Yeah. The toughest part is is finding people who are who are genuine. Like mm -hmm. you know that everybody who you meet or come around you, they always have like a motive or an agenda. Mm -hmm. So finding people who like actually want to see you win yeah like genuinely no for sure it's, it's hard to find in the uh, yeah. music industry so i think that's the biggest thing no it definitely yeah. is it definitely is because niggas leeching niggas just you know what i'm saying wait they just want yeah. to take from you for real yeah if they see shit ain't going then they, they disappearing if they see shit moving then they, they sticking on to you and shit so uh you know what I'm saying you got your manager one who reached out to me you know what i'm saying uh you know put me up, up on you how did that connection come with you and him like and how did you trust him to be your manager like all right i can rock with you um, he came to one of my shows mm -hmm. and like, how did you like you you? What did you say? I think he seen everybody perform, but like when I was performing, the crowd gave like a different energy type shit. So yeah, yeah. And then he came up to me, and then it took like so he he, he hit me up on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I responded like the first. I don't even know how it worked. Like yeah. I think he texted me that I didn't reply. Like I was kind of like skeptical, mm -hmm. and then. I was like, okay, let me just, let me just see. Yeah, see what's up. Let me just see. And then, like, that's really how that started. Like, since then, we just been rocking with each other, you know? Yeah. Was it something that you could trust? Like, all right, I, all right, I think I could trust this nigga because of this. Or, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you got managers that come and go. You got something, like you said, that's around just for the, you know what I'm saying? But 
what made you feel like he had your best interest at heart? Like, all right, I can rock with this dude. Like, he ain't no slime ball. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we some slime ball out here. Because, like, even before, like, we really started working with each other, I was still, like, going places with him. Like, he was still, like, doing stuff mm -hmm. before the actual management mm -hmm. showed me, like, okay, he's actually... Like serious. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Now, what, now what's gonna what's gonna take to keep that relationship like strong? Because like I said, you come up with a team. I talk about this with my producer. Like you see, some of us coming together, and then as they blow, shit separate. So what's gonna make sure? Like what you gonna do to make sure that that relationship, you know, what I'm saying, stay intact? Uh. You know, what I'm saying, what, if motherfuckers stay the same, yeah. all the way to the top, really. Yeah. Just don't switch up, cause usually when motherfuckers start getting that fame and fortune, mm -hmm. they start acting funny, like yeah. start acting funny. But all you gotta do is continue to be you. It ain't really hard at all. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Where you wanna go with music? Like not, I'm talking about like right now within this year. Like where you wanna see your music like take off to? Before well, this year's I'm gonna with so next year. All over the world. Yeah, you got you got projects coming up. Uh yeah, I got a uh, EP coming out. When is that? It's gonna be six songs and it's dropping at the end of this month. You sure? So October. Yeah, okay. at the end of this, at the end of October. Okay, okay. No, because I'm talking shit. Because there'll be a lot of people that come on here. Like, yeah, you know, I got my project coming out. Like, damn, what the fuck that shit at? Like, that be me too. Sometimes I don't like people be asking. I just you got you got a name for it. Uh, no, I don't. It's a tough. It's a tough decision. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm do my little. Research on like like what I should name it, but mm. I think it's gonna be like because I I tap into every style of music, so I think this this EP is gonna be more on the common side. Mm. So I might give it like a soft name. I don't know. Yeah. I just gotta figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna ask you like what what's like the the songs, the tracks, like what are they talking about? What you talking about? Like is it is it talking about personal shit? You know what I'm saying? You talking about club shit? You know what you talking about? Relationship shit, like what, what's the what's the tape talking about? What's the song talking about? Uh, each song is different, you know. It's like a different topic per each song, but mm. uh, none of them is really like. Now, nah, some of them is about like club songs for real, but I don't know because I make the the I make the the ghetto music and I can make the soft music. Like, yeah. I make you can tap into any genre. I could really go old school mm. if you want me to, like. <laughs> So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a I don't know. Yeah. I think this this might be one of my hardest group of songs. Like this group of songs, I think is one of the like some of the best songs that I've ever made personally. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now what do you enjoy doing more? Like do you enjoy creating the music or performing the music? Uh, creating the music and then listening to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you performing wise? Do you like doing that shit? Like you said, your manager found you off of, you know, saying your performance and shit, so. Yeah. I like performing. Sometimes I have my days, mm. but for the most part, at the end of the day, like, even if I don't feel like doing something, I'm still gonna get up and do it, like. Mm -hmm. And it's actually fun. It's fun seeing, like, how people that you don't even know yeah. really feel your music. Like, yeah. you ain't know these people from a can of paint and they supporting you the most. So I like the fact that when I perform, how people really be vibing to my songs, like, it's always a good feeling seeing yeah. that. So no, for sure. I like it. You had any fuck ups on stage? Like, damn. I forgot the words. Like, what you doing when you fuck up? Like, we'll talk about that. Like, been fucked up a few times. Cause like, when I go to the studio, if I have a show the next day, I might want to perform a song that that's just, yeah. and I ain't even like the words all the way. Yeah. And I didn't did that before and barely knew the words while that song was playing. Like, yeah. I ain't never do it again. Like, I did that one time and it looked just crazy. No, you can't look. My homeboy did that and this nigga just pulled the phone and I'll start reading the words. I, I, was, I wouldn't even do that. I just, hey, nigga, you freaked out. I just, I just let them listen. Yeah. Before I pull out my phone, I just, just go ahead and just listen to the song like, yeah. before I do that. But. I think the worst shit, because like I said, I was doing music, but I wasn't, it was like halfway serious, you know what I'm saying, kind of not serious. But uh, I mean, I was performing, I had diarrhea. So I didn't show myself. Uh -huh. I didn't show myself, but I couldn't move for real. So like, no, it's bad. Like they like, you need to move. I mean, that bitch just stand still. Like I couldn't move. Like right before we did the show, like I had to, you know what I'm saying, let some shit loose and shit though. So 
Yeah, it was like that. It was like the worst shit. I don't know. Must have ate some fucked up shit right before, but yeah, nigga, stomach was on boil mode the whole time though. So that was a that was a terrible motherfucking you performance. Probably, you probably was letting out two <laughs> shit. Like yeah. performing. No, for sure. Hell yeah. All right, then I talk about tough times. Like when you going through shit, who can you talk to? Like to get you through it, through them tough times and tough situations. Uh, that's pretty much why I started making music. So I really don't talk to nobody. So you put all the music. Yeah, or I'm like, uh, sometimes I call my auntie, yeah. my dad. Yeah. Cause I'm I'm not used to like soft love. I'm used to tough love. So I know my dad gonna he gonna tell me the truth. He yeah. gonna tell me, Nettie, look, like he ain't gonna be like, oh, it's okay, like it's okay, no. Yeah. And my auntie like the same way. They just gonna give it to me how it is at the end of the day. That's the only like really way for me to understand it. Like I can't do no soft. Mm-mm. I need hundred percent tough love for real, and that's that's what they be giving me. Like, yeah. So yeah, my aunt or my dad, I would say, is good people to talk to. My sister play too much. I don't like to her. She play too much. Yeah. She even try to make a joke out of anything. Nigga going through some shit. She joking like, nigga. Damn, so you depressed? <laughs> damn, that's funny. It's like damn. Yeah, well, for sure. Can real life get in the way of you create music? Like, I know you put your your life into the music, but have there been times that it's been so fucked up that you can't even make no music? Yeah, I didn't have my little couple of times where I'd be like, I probably should just stop doing this shit. Yeah. But I just ended up doing this shit anyway, through it all. Like, yeah. I just keep, kept doing it. Even when I didn't want to do it, I was like, nah, but I can't stop. Mm-hmm. Now, t- talk about your pops, because you say you go to him and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For, uh, you know, when you got your little problems, and he- he'll talk to you and shit. Like, talk about your relationship when you got your dad, because. You get a lot of people coming here like, oh, I don't know my dad, fuck my dad, this, that, and the third, shit, like. Yeah. But saying you got, like, a positive relationship with him, so just, you know saying, talk about your relationship and all that stuff. Uh, well, I love my dad, like, he, he's, he's me. Mm-hmm. He's like me. Mm-hmm. And he like to say that my sister is more like my mama and I'm more like him. Mm-hmm. Like, we're, like, the black sheep, kind of, like, he say... That I think so much like him, and it's like crazy. Like he literally thinks like, um, all his characteristics yeah. just rubbed off on me. Yeah, <laughs> and that's probably true. Like that's probably why he can understand me so well. Like, mm-hmm. but our relationship is really, is really good. He be spoiling me. Yeah, like, I was like, I feel like that's a, always there. That's important because like you know, saying young young women growing up, you know, saying especially when you don't have a father, you, you try to reach out in those relationships and try to you know, saying get a dude, take your father's spot and all that shit, but. You already got somebody as an example, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he, he do, he, I noticed that dads do not want to see that little girls grow up. Like, Hell no, see, I got a little daughter that's, that's, that's about to be four, I'm already thinking about that shit. I swear, like, yeah. if it was up to him, we still wouldn't be allowed to have a boyfriend. <laughs> like, Hell no, I don't want to think about that shit. I was mad that little four year old was following him. Hell no, man, you get your little ass butt. <laughs> no, but that's, that's just because we be knowing how, like, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how dudes are, you know how you were and stuff like that. You just don't want to see your daughter, you know what I'm saying, get dead wrong, get messed over and shit. So, like, you got boys and you be all right, they, they'll figure it out. But your daughter, you don't want your daughter to call you crying. You don't want her to get her broke, none of that shit. Now you ready to kill everybody. Yeah, but I couldn't ask for a better dad. Like, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, is him and your mom's day, they rocking it together? Never mind. Hell no. What? Have you ever, like, seen them, like, together? Oh, uh, yeah. I got, like, some memories. Yeah. Do you, you ever be thinking about like, damn, I wonder how this shit be if they was actually together. Do you ever think about that? I'd be like, damn, I see why they not together. That, yeah, man, it's like broke. Cause like, I'm like, when I think about like, okay, what if they was together? Nah, I will laugh because it's like, nah, nah. That's the word. They funny. They are some funny people. My dad is hilarious. Man. Really? My goodness, they're funny. They don't they. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> can't even explain their relationship. Like they're they're not together or nothing like that, but they're they're funny. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. For funny sure. people. Now you say you you know you got dope music, like, but is there anything that you need to work on to make the music even better? Make your delivery better, make the you know what I'm saying bars better, like uh, how like how could I make my bars better? Like the only way I can say like I can make my bars better is by expanding my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. And like, either when you write a song, either you gonna think it's good mm-hmm. or it's bad. Like, every song ain't gonna be perfect. So, mm-hmm. that's the only way I could like see myself being able to like 
make better music is expanding my vocabulary. From. Yeah. Because I think I'm not going to make music just off, like, because that's what, like... Yeah, it was most popular shit. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. That's... Mm-hmm. What's your day of day life away from music? What what bring you fun that ain't got shit to do with music? Boy, if you say let's get some food right now, I'll grab my shit. Look. I love food. Like I'm I think I'm a big back. Like I love food. Back at the way ask. No, for real. Like, let's go. Yeah. But you but you can cook though. Yeah. Right. What's your, what's your go-to? What can, what, what can you throw down on that you know if... What's my go-to? Like, you know, for sure, like, if I make this shit, they gonna love it, like... Some steak. Steak. Well done. Halfway done. Have you want it? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or, let me, let me think, because it's just so much. Yeah. So much. Alfredo. You name it. Nah. You can make stuffed potatoes. Seafood boys. Yeah. Seafood boy. Oh, so you can put that, huh? That's what I'm making when I get home. <laughs> Well, you can throw down. That's what's up. You need, yeah. I'm about to say, you took my big backs and shit. Like, you gotta be able to throw down. You, you know what I'm saying? But besides food, mm. I like to get active. I like to do activities like get in the mud. Like, let's go to the escape room. Let's mm. go paintballing. Let's go. I'm down for whatever. Like, yeah. I just like to have fun. So, going out yeah. is definitely something that I do. I would love to do like on my daily, day to day basis. Mm. Yeah. What's been some good advice and some fucked up advice you've received so far? It ain't got, it can do with music, whatever. Like, there's some good advice that you remember and some shit that you like, dog, that shit don't make no sense. Some good advice? Mm-hmm. Shit, niggas ain't give me no advice, huh? Some good, <laughs> some good advice. I think somebody told me I need to stop bullshitting. Yeah, oh, that's, some, that's some great advice. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Some bad advice? Oh, uh, I don't like because I don't be people don't really be giving me advice for really? like but I remember this one girl and I don't necessarily know if this is advice or not <laughs> but she told me I needed to work on my appearance right mm-hmm. you know that's advice that's good that can be good advice mm-hmm. depending on who was coming from sure, like, you know but she had a clip on ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was fucked up, huh? Yeah, so it's made it like, you know. Yeah. That's just some terrible advice. I just like, that's some advice that you need to take. No, know? for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. That's the closest I got yeah. to yeah. got to bad advice. Like Yeah, yeah. So you said the person said stop bullshitting and you say you be procrastinating. Do you feel like you can be your own worst enemy when it comes to this music shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like oh, yeah. from hearing you for the last couple minutes that you can stop your own goddamn self. I, I'm my worst critic. Like, I think, sometimes I think nothing is good. Like, mm. nothing is good enough when everybody could be telling me the shit sounds perfect. Mm-hmm. In my own head, I'm still thinking, like, it's not all the way up to part. It could be better. Something's not right. This, this, this. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's, uh, because you, you, you still young, but what's, what was the first adult decision you made? Like, damn, I'm growing up. Like, I ain't that, that same little kid no more. Good question. Great question. Yeah. When I I realized I was growing up, when like I I I kind of accepted the fact of a lot of things. Like I accepted a lot of things as they was. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, you you ain't about to support. All right, cool. This this you feel like all right cool like I just became at peace with everything around me like yeah. and just was like okay let me stay focused let me do what the fuck I need to do mm. that's pretty much when I was like okay yeah I'm growing up like I started reacting to stuff how I would when I was younger yeah I just became a lot more calmer and like at peace like yeah. within myself because I was just wow I always had a cloud in mind I was always worried about it. Somebody felt this way. Somebody, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What made you, like, just stop giving a fuck, though? Like, because, you know what I'm saying? Was niggas grown as hell still be worried about what the fuck niggas thinking about. Because not every, like I said, not everybody want to see you win. Some people just be low-key haters. Yeah. And I ain't even peep. When I was younger, I used to be like, like, damn, you feel that way? Yeah. 
And then I thought about it like, how? Yeah. Just a hater. You're just a hater. <laughs> like, and then if somebody not fucking with you, they not going to ever fuck with you. Like, I feel like they that's just how it is. They're just one of them people that mm-hmm. you just don't need to be around. It's actually people out here that don't want to see you win. And when you accept that, that's when you, you start moving and start kicking people out your life that do not need to be in your life. Yeah, really. Be mad as hell you thriving. God, literally, for yeah, real. Really. Niggas hate niggas seeing people on social media like, why the fuck that ain't me? This ain't there. Like, like, I know you're not hating. How you gonna hate? How you being a hater? Yeah. You know, outside of the club, you can't even get in. No, for sure. You got a lot of those. You got a lot of those and shit, duh. <laughs> for real. Hell yeah. Well, shit, I know you might be two thirds of the answers, but when the last time you cried, what was the reason? And it can't have nothing to do with death, though. Um. The last time I cried. I think I was making some food and I dropped it. <laughs> Does it hurt your feelings, huh? Boy, like a baby. It's like a damn baby. That That's the quickest way to make me cry. Like, yeah. if I'm hungry yeah. and I can't get to the food fast enough, yeah. it's some, some days, like, I'll literally forget to eat. Like, I'll go days without eating and be like, oh, fuck, like, I haven't ate. That's why I feel sick. Yeah. Or, yeah. But no, being for real, the last time I actually cried, I think I, uh, I don't even know. I called my sister. I was crying. I think it was, I think it was, I was just overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? I called her. I just bought. And she started laughing at you. Boy, she was like, well, maybe you just need to get out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's some good advice, though. You might need to just get the fuck out. No, nah, if I'm, yeah. That's, if you know, if you know, I was crying and just fucked up overwhelmed, you need to get the fuck out of the game. See some people. Or if it's, or it depends on the situation. Like, if I be like, yeah, this person just pissed me off, she gonna make a joke and that shit gonna cheer me up because I'm a funny motherfucker. I literally, that was hilarious. Yeah. Like, I be making people laugh. So she be trying to cheer me up by making me laugh. And she know I'm gonna come with a joke on top of her joke. Yeah. So that literally cheers, cheers me up every time. What's something that you want to be that you never told nobody? Uh, mm. it's like a wrestler. <laughs> Some more wrestling. <laughs> uh, it's something. I just no, well, no. I want to do something involving like, like nature. Yeah. I don't know what something involving nature. Hmm. I could sit and watch a nature video yeah. for hours on hours on end. Mm-hmm. I just have like a real, like an interest in nature. Yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because see, as a real kid, I wanted to do a whole bunch of shit. I mean, tap dance, I wanted to play piano, all type of shit. They do none of it. <laughs> I ain't even tried to do it. No, I don't know. I didn't try. I tried, but shit, my mom couldn't afford the lessons and shit, though. <laughs> if you had to tell somebody about, your, about you using an album or a song, it could be from you. It could be from your favorite artist. What would that be? If you press play, it's going to tell me about Nettie. Your song or somebody that you look up to in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the music world that's, you know what I'm saying, press play and that's you. And it could be at this point in your life, your young life, whatever. A moment. Mm. The mom music? I mean... Your music or somebody else's. But I press play. You mean I said word. I know that's that's a part of your life. That's just you. I made this one song. It's called Cold Heart. Mm-hmm. I made it like a long time ago. So like how it sounds is horrible. Yeah. But <laughs> the, the lyrics actually is like go crazy. I think when I performed that song, I was like tearing up on stage type shit. Yeah. That song. And like uh a little bit of Wild Wave, a little bit of Apology. I don't know. It's a lot of yeah. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say my song. I would say my song, and it would be Cold Heart. Yeah, see, I would have artists that appear to uh, uh, to like a certain uh, audience. Like, I can't tap into his music. He said you can't? No, no, I can't. It can be overwhelming mm. sometimes, but you like after a couple songs, you got to turn this shit. All right, I ain't trying to fall into no no depression. Like, damn, I was just a little upset. But, exactly. Like after like maybe three songs, you gotta you gotta change it. Good. Yeah. But yeah, where are you? Where are you fucking right now? I don't even listen to music. Yeah, 
I don't even be listening to music. Yeah. Uh. Oh, who who was that artist that made you love music? Because like with me, it was like like I said, it's back in the day. But it's like I was listening to music, but I was listening to like childish rap, like little shit. Never mind. Let me listen to. But then when I listen like juvenile. It made me want to just listen to all type of rap. So that was like the artist that made like made me tap in and go back and listen to everything I was missing before. And then I just been shit stuck ever since. At the I would say at the beginning I was I was cash kid I was banging every month oh, yeah. song that he dropped then uh it had went to like Sada Baby then I had transferred over to like I had a whole era where I was just listening to nothing but dirt mm-hmm. fine and Polo G like I just was listening to their ass like they were so hard to me at one point yeah and then eventually like. I still listen to music, but I can't like name songs because I don't yeah. know the names of the songs yeah. that I no, like, I'm saying, really. listening to. I'm saying I'm saying I be doing the name of nobody's songs. I be doing the album and shit, but I can't tell you the name of the niggas. He be doing the album. I be like that song. Uh, it go like uh, because mm-hmm. I cannot tell you the name. Yeah, yeah. Now we we tapped in a little bit. You say you from the West Side. Uh, how how, how what was the stint that you stayed in uh in West Virginia? How long were you there before you moved to Detroit? Uh. Damn near almost right after I was born. I was born on a uh on like a military hospital. Mm-hmm. And I was there for maybe I don't even be knowing. I don't know what my mom be talking. I don't know. Like maybe two, three years? Yeah. I don't know. I think it was three years. And then we came here. Yeah. And then yeah, and I was just here ever since then. Yeah. yeah. And I went to Texas for a while. Yeah. Came back. How was yeah. I, I was in Texas because I stayed in Texas for like three years. I was in uh, I was in Dallas. Um, that shit slow as hell. Young then too. Okay. That shit was hot. No, it's hot as fuck. Oh, that shit was hot. Yeah, mm. especially like if you like in Houston, Houston, and Austin. Like I don't know what the it's three hour difference between Houston and Dallas, but that Houston heat is just totally different. Like I miss that shit in the winter time though. Like that shit be. They don't even like get a lot of snow. I think no. when I was down there, it was a lady. She was like our babysitter because we was like real young, mm-hmm. and she was like they barely get snow. Like hell no, they, they got that shit probably three times in the three years I was there. And when they did, everything shut the fuck down. The only thing was open was the hospitals. Like I'm like, damn, y'all need to close down everything because they wasn't prepared. They don't be having salt. They they put down sand. Niggas, that shit ain't stopping nothing. Ain't, ain't stopping. Damn, motherfucker, you might as well scoop that shit. <laughs> you ever thought about how life would be if you didn't move back to Detroit? If you stayed in Texas, you stayed elsewhere. Like you ever thought about that shit? Yeah, uh, in Virginia, yeah, because yeah. I don't even remember what the fuck is mm-hmm. like in Virginia, so I would like to go back and visit, yeah, just to like you know, do you feel like you can? Oh, my bad, I'm tripping. You still, you still talking? Go ahead. Oh, do you feel like being here though? Do you feel like you need to move to take your music off, or you feel like you can go ahead and thrive, you know, saying with the music in Detroit? I would like to move. I feel like if I it's not, I don't think if I live here, like if I just stay here, my music won't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. But I would, I would very much prefer to travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I don't know. If I, if I stay here, I don't think my music could just be stuck in Detroit because yeah. I make music for everybody, not just people in Detroit. So I think regardless, people still gonna feel it. But yeah, yeah I would, I would much rather yeah. travel. Because at one point, it wasn't uh, you damn near had to leave this motherfucker to get seen, but now everybody wanna fuck with Detroit artists, fucking actors, actresses, like we 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 was there right now, like niggas is copying our style. Like at one point you couldn't find a Detroit artist that was like, you know, saying the early two thousands that were blowing up. We knew them, we loved them, but nobody else outside of Detroit knew who the fuck they was. Mm-hmm. I think the first group or the first people to really branch out and get heard outside Detroit that made this shit pop off was like Dope Boy Cash Out. And then after that it was like T Grizzly and motherfucking Days Loaf and shit. You know what I'm saying? So now everybody, everybody know about everybody in Detroit shit. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So you said growing up, like, was you athlete? Did you hoop? Did you do anything? How was you in school? Uh, I in school I tried to. I was on a step team. Okay. I tried to do basketball, but but I was born with like a hole in my heart, and apparently it like affected me in some kind of way. I don't even know the details of mm-hmm. it. Like I just know I had a hole in my heart, but mm-hmm. I guess it prevented me from being able to play basketball because, like, I don't even know. Like, I would have, like, 
Breathe asthma. I was, you could have asthma. Mm -hmm. you can't say asthma. It was asthma. like doing something. Yeah, but during like conditioning, mm -hmm. I would like have trouble breathing, all type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I still almost made the team though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you still uh, do you still go through things with that right now? Like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you good? Yeah, I'm I'm good. What high school you went to? Uh, I went to Cornerstone. Okay. Hills High. Okay, okay, okay. Grades good. You was good, good, good student? <laughs> Shit. I, I graduated. Like, yeah, I feel the same here. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, did you ever, after high school, like, oh, I'm going to college? Or did your parents ever, like, you need to go to college and you need to do this? Oh, yeah. My mom is a teacher. She's very strict when it comes to school. Mm -hmm. So, how does she feel about you when you, like, all right, I'm doing music? I mean... <laughs> I mean, my dad is, is more supportive. Yeah. Like, my mama would much rather me do school. Mm -hmm. And I don't, it's not that I don't like school. It's just that, like, during the time I went to college, because I was only in college for, like, one semester, mm -hmm. but, so I didn't last. But that was when, like, COVID was really going on. So we couldn't even, like, go on campus. And I'm a visual learner. I can't yeah, not for sure. do college from home. Mm -hmm. I just can't. It's not for me. I have to be there. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just didn't keep up like mm -hmm. I just didn't keep up and I fell off and and honestly I didn't want to be in school at that time mm -hmm. I wanted to do something more like cosmetology school or something because I do hair I wanted to do something like that like mm -hmm. maybe like trade school or something mm -hmm. just didn't want to just do college like if I'm gonna go to school I'm gonna do cosmetology school get my license for that and do Something like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. And yeah, I mean, if you know what you want to do, ain't, ain't no point. You might just go step into a trade. Yeah. Like, if you know, ain't no point in saying wasting your time and wasting your motherfucking money, too. I think mm -hmm. owing all your money for no reason and shit, dude. Uh, now, when did rapping come to, to picture? Like, when did rapping become some serious that you wanted to, you know what I'm saying, really tap into? When I got out of high school and I was, like, actually able to take it serious because school was, like, intervening with a lot. Yeah. I really didn't even know where a studio was in the city. I didn't know about a studio. I didn't know about nothing. Yeah. I didn't know where to even go to to find a studio. Mm -hmm. So it was really when I got out of high school and I was able to like venture off and actually find a good studio for me to go to. Yeah. It took me a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I said, what was that studio? Talk about that. Like your first time in the real legit studio. Uh. I'd have been in a couple basement studios, you know mm. what I'm saying? That was actually like, that was good. Like the music sounded good. But my very first studio, his name was Bone mm -hmm. Consistent, and he uh passed away. That was the very first studio that I went to. It was at uh Plaza, the Plaza, mm. and Greenfield Plaza. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the very first studio I ever went to. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean. It was cool. Yeah, because a lot of times you rap in your room, you be like, you know what I'm saying? But then it's a whole different story when you put them headphones on. Yeah, even if that shit sound ass, you don't hear that shit. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> now, who is that person? That, like, did, did, did you ever ask somebody, like, why you record? Like, oh, that shit ass, just stop. Or you start over, like, that shit, no. Nah, to the year. Right. That shit be garbage. I, I, don't, I ain't never said stop, though, because it took me a while to even realize how music is supposed to sound. Mm. When you record it, like, so I've been to so many ass studios, but yeah. just it was like, oh shit, this shit sound good. Like, mm -hmm. whole time that shit sound dookie as shit, and I don't even know it. For sure. Like, I don't even know it. Hell yeah, yeah. No, we definitely been in some studios when niggas got to be quiet. You hear any little noise that niggas make. Like, damn. Nigga, I ain't heard. We record some of yeah. our best songs, and we heard niggas is having full conversations in the background on the song. Like, bro. Or you hear some type of scratching noise or some shit. Like, it's just something. Or you can't even hear your damn self for real to be yeah. so loud. Like, yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah. It, them, them niggas, some of them house studios be dope and legit, but then some of them be like, damn, like, nigga, you really just put some shit together. I mean, no shit. Down. Yeah, like, you just please shut the shit down, dog. Especially because some, some, like, Engineers, they don't really give a fuck about how your shit sound from uh -huh. that studio. They don't give a fuck. They just get you in and out that bitch. They yeah. no, they'll leave your breath in that motherfucker. Won't say shit. Just, uh, just all right. Here you go. Yeah. 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 This it, right? Send that shit as hollow as fuck. Like, right how you listening to your song right here? Oh yeah. Like what the fuck? Who the fuck is that breathing? That's 
Like, do you, so do you got you a, a studio that you just stick with right now, or you still go to multiple studios? Oh, no, I got a studio I stick with. Okay, okay. Now, what, what's, what's your studio, like, what do you need? Like, what's some shit that you need for your session? Like, you need people, you need quiet, you need dark, you, what, I, what do you need? I need quiet. I don't like a lot of people at the studio with me. I used to have, like, 10 motherfuckers in the studio. Yeah, no reason. I need everybody at this motherfucker. Yeah. 60 or while I record. But no, now, I just, uh, smooth, just me. I don't want nobody there. Maybe one person, I have my cousin, Papa, or something like that. Yeah. And we just be cool and vibing while I'm recording. But I do not like a lot of people at the studio when I'm recording. Mm -hmm. like, not no more. In the past, I did, though, but... Yeah, I hate that shit. I hate when it'd be a thousand niggas in that bitch for no reason, though. Niggas ain't put no input in. No, it's just in the way. Yeah. Talking shit, like, nigga having, a, like you said, a whole bunch of background conversations and yeah, shit. Yeah, engineer gotta keep saying, be quiet and shit. <laughs> We're both irritated, like, I should make these niggas stay home. Hell yeah. Are you, are you okay with people writing for you? Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You okay with people giving you ideas while, you, while they're in the studio? Like, if I am in there, bitch, I'm really like, yeah. hey, you, need, you should say this or you should change this tone. Yeah, I'll take a good idea. I'll definitely take some, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I've, I've done that before. Like, a motherfucker be like, you should probably say it this way. I'll be like, all right, let me try. And this shit sound good. I'll be mm -hmm. like, oh, shit, you lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what if I got this fire-ass song that I don't want, but I'm giving it to you? You want to take that shit? <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> no, I ain't not. I ain't take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got motherfuckers out here that be, hey, niggas who, I can't deliver it, but I can write that bitch. There you go. No, nah, yeah, I, uh, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll, I'll read it, go over it. Yeah. You know, can we write it for somebody else? Yeah, if they ask me to. Yeah, could you, now what if it, like, are you, could, you, bam, you about to be successful, but you're not about to be in front of the camera. You're just going to be behind writing for me. But you getting paid. You getting paid the same amount of money you get paid as the main artist. Like, would you be okay being in the background just waiting for a nigga? Why you take all the credit? Oh, like just just being in the just, shadow. Just a, just, a, just a strictly just a writer for somebody. Like, would you be okay with that? Yeah, but I still would be making music for myself. Like, if I could be still be an artist and be behind the scenes as well, doing like side work, and that's cool too. Cause yeah. I don't know. That's a big rush. That's a lot of money in, in writing, though, for the motherfucker, though, for real. Yeah, but I I don't know. I get anxiety working. When I have a specific job, like like something like that, mm -hmm. I start getting in my own damn head. Like, this shit probably don't sound good. Yeah. He about to look at me like, go on here, head out. Yeah. I'm about to, like, yeah. yeah. That's a big role. Now, everybody want to be successful at what we do. You, music, me with this. What scared you about the thought of fame, though? Uh, not knowing the secrets of the the Diddy shit. The fa <laughs> fame world, like yeah. not knowing secrets, because at the end of the day, um, if I don't want to do this, I'm not gonna do it. And mm. you didn't heard like, okay, so it's been a lot of people where they had turned something down, and because they didn't do it. Mm. That was their music career right here. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Didn't want to do something that somebody wanted you to do or told you to do. At the end of that's going to be me. If I don't want to do something and that cost me my what I want to do, then so be it. I'm going to still make music. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be making music with y'all. Like, because I like it's motherfuckers that really trick you into thinking you ain't going to make it if you don't do certain shit. Or no, for sure. It. Like, all type of that, all type of shit. I ain't selling shit. You ain't getting me. Hell yeah, no, for sure. It's a, it's a crazy world out here, shit. Weird niggas. Mm -hmm. Now, my, your uh, your manager uh, had sent me a couple songs, and you had said a couple things. I just wanted to, you know, saying talk about it. On um, one bar, you say, uh, he said he let me with he said me he said he let me fuck a little like letting that shit slip up by my mouth. Talk about that shit. You ain't you don't love my fingers. What what is this? Airbus. <laughs> um, no, like, cause I be I be like. I be seeing through. I be seeing through niggas. I, I know what they like. I, I can tell the difference between the genuine guy yeah. and a guy who's coming for something specific. I, yeah. I feel like you coming with a motive that's that's negative. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When was the last time you told somebody you love them? It wasn't your parents. Or... <laughs> uh, the last time I <laughs> did you love this shit for real life? Uh, a couple of days, a couple. Maybe yes, right. two days. 
<laughs> no, I think it was like yesterday, the day before. How are you? In, how are you in Nettie, in the relationship? How am I like in relationship? Yeah, in relationship. Like, yeah, who, who, who are you? you? Are you a soft one? The aggressive? It depends on who, who, because. It can be very soft, and I don't want to be nothing but a lover girl. I'd be tired of being a real, uh, a real hood nigga. Something like that. We do like I'd be just wanting to be a soft lover girl. Literally, that's it. Soft girl era, all that. Mm. And some, it's like some guys won't allow you to be that. They kind of force you to. And then some guys be like, they like them them hard, aggressive girls. That ain't me. Like, that ain't me. I can be that. I can definitely feel me slap shit at you. But yeah. I don't mm Because mm, I prefer to be a, a soft girl yeah. uh, with a guy who's like, you know, like, allowing me to be a yeah. soft girl. For sure, for sure, for sure. You said you, say you, you think you're smooth. I'll fuck around and laugh you out for oh. drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Like I have had some people out there drugs before, but oh my goodness, she just talking to me. No, I'm say that because I'm funny. Like you're so funny. Like anybody around me will tell you, I literally love to make people laugh. So I was like that boy kind of. I was on Instagram like I laugh you at your job, the little the little quotes and stuff. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I know. So I was like, music. Yeah, I, I didn't do that back in my day. Back in my day. We feel me? Back in the old days, saying Andrew days. I was saying, like, you ready to get out your... Not saying, like, ain't no... I ain't forcing you to get out them jobs, man. Yeah. But you didn't got laughed out them damn jobs, man. Yeah, that's a reason, yeah. Go ahead and put it back on. <laughs> you say, uh, no competition. Can't believe y'all thought y'all really stood a chance. But let's separate you from others, like... Like, and do you look at, like... Shit, like I look at this, like the podcast shit, competition, like niggas be loving that certain person, but man, fuck that, I'm better. Like it's very humble. Yeah. It's love competition. Yeah. It's a love competition. Like mm -hmm. I'm very humble. If you good, I'm gonna give props where it's I'm gonna give your credit. Mm -hmm. You good. Yeah. But I just love competition. Like I don't mm -hmm. know why. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. No, for sure. Do Do you ever see somebody like damn, like? They can't with it. Like, all right, I got to go back to the crib and get some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get back to my pen and, you know what I'm saying? Because you see somebody like, I know music, like, damn, this nigga kind of sweet. Like, let me go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Because I just look at niggas, I don't want nobody to be better than me at all. So I'm looking for ways just, I'm looking at you, I'm studying people, I'm studying artists. Like, even while I was hooping, I'm studying other niggas who hoop. Like, what can I do to be better? So, you know, I, mean, I don't think that I'm better than anybody else, but uh, you can always learn from other artists, especially like, with like stage performance and stuff like that, like when I do see other artists performing, I try to learn mm -hmm. a little bit from that. But every, everybody music is different. Like if I hear somebody music, I don't think like, oh, I need to hurry go in the studio and write because then it's better than me. Yeah. No, nah, I don't. Yeah. It's like, and you just good. You good at what you do, just like me, and I give you your credit for sure. Yeah, so ain't no, ain't no hating with you. Ain't no hate. It's friendly competition. Yeah, for sure. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You say, nigga, I thought that was your job. How, how the hell y'all shaking hands? <laughs> oh, my God. You nigga, me Like, yeah, I'll be studying shit. So, like, do you ever see that shit? Like, niggas, I didn't. I thought y'all wasn't cool, like. Yes, it be like low key ops though. That don't even, yeah. sometimes they don't even know that they shaking their off hand. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't watch two motherfuckers, like. Who talk shit about each other yes. and literally be dead ass in each other's face, and I'd be like, "Yeah, that shit, wow, yeah." Like y'all serious? That's why I don't never. T I don't talk. I'm a great listener. I don't. I'm never one to just be running my mouth telling my business. But hell no. You listen to motherfucker tell it all. All you gotta do is just pay attention. For sure, for sure, for sure. Because I had niggas on this show talk shit about somebody else, and then I'm seeing them. Sharing they shit like damn, you just you just talk shit about this nigga like right? that for sure. I was like, damn, you just said you didn't like that nigga yeah, like, like, I'm ten minutes ago. When I don't like niggas, I I do not like this. I don't fuck with niggas like and yeah, nigga, but niggas in this niggas here be weird, man. Nigga and niggas do I know is that niggas do niggas do a lot of shit just for like social media shit. Like just just niggas don't really be about that, but they just put on this motherfucking performance on social media just to be cool or be in the motherfucking in the know or some shit, like. Especially guys, like, I... It's like, whole ass like, They just be talking, like, why do y'all be talking, like, and then they turn around, like, but don't say nothing. You yeah. don't say a motherfucking thing, but, like, that's how you can tell 
who you can tell your business to and to, uh, who you can't. Because, like, I didn't have a motherfucker. I didn't know from a can of paint come up to me and tell me about everybody in the room. Yeah. I didn't even know. I'd be like, yeah, you won't know. You wouldn't even know my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas. But then you get to know a nigga. Niggas just love to talk. Niggas just yeah. love to fucking talk, though. Like, there's a situation going on right now with, uh, with older rappers and niggas is out here just talking. Just out here. Just, man, like, bro, shut the fuck up, man. No, like, like you gonna get yourself in trouble, but you better stop. No, and then when they do get in that situation, they be like, damn, I'm, I'm caught up. Like, nigga, fuck that. Niggas do too much talking, too much pillow talking on social media, man. Not for real. Hell yeah, yeah. Now, the last one you said, been looking for love, I can't find it. You been looking for it? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just letting love find me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm not looking for it, but. Yeah. You, you, you might have a plan. You feel like you can have a. Do you feel like right now, with you being young and you still, you know what I'm saying, you trying to get to a point where you out here successful in music, at the same time, can you be in a relationship and be like in a successful relationship as you're trying to chase this fame for music? Yeah. It's like that, that relationship she can wait to after I do what I gotta do. No, because I can still do what I do and still have a relationship. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think you can, you can definitely like make it happen. I don't care about like the fast life for real. Like, mm-hmm. making music and shit is fun, but I have. A, a plan. Mm-hmm. I'm not in this motherfucker for the hoes. So it's like I can, I can have, can be in a relationship and still do this. Now it's a lot of stuff that do come with music. Like you might want to do a music video and and motherfuckers would be all over you or something like that in music video or some mm-hmm. some stuff just come with the music industry street and it's and if you got self control, mm-hmm. you know it'd be okay. You just yeah. got self control. But yeah, I don't even want like yeah like I. I can be in a relationship right now. Like, mm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the hoes. I don't want the hoes. I have that because a lot of motherfuckers relationships get in the way of what they're trying to do. Some people can't be in a relationship and then still do their thing. They be in a relationship, they be stuck on that person so much that they forget what they had dreams or am- they ambitions and all that shit. They they so busy stuck on this motherfucker trying to make them happy that they forget to make their own self happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get a lot of motherfuckers. Or. One person could be moving fast and the other one could be moving slow and stuck in the same spot. That could also break like a relationship. But if mm-hmm. if one person is like putting in effort and, and making money and doing all of this and thriving and moving forward, eat, that person should be doing the same thing or at least mm-hmm. trying. Like if, if that person is doing absolutely nothing to make, you know, yeah. they don't got no priorities. Yeah. That can break up a relationship. Hell yeah. Stuff. No, for sure. Hell yeah. Because if anything, that should be pushing you. Oh, damn. She's doing her thing. Oh, he's doing her thing. Let me go ahead and match that shit. Y'all should be matching each other's energy and shit for real. But uh, what do success look like for, for Nettie? What's success for you? Um, just, just being able to do. Whatever I want, whenever I want, and be at peace doing it. Like eat whatever you want. My, supporting my family, eating whatever. Damn right. <laughs> I'm gonna have everything at the crib. I'm gonna have boy. I'm gonna have a restaurant in the house. Yeah. Different restaurants, like. But no, yeah, definitely taking care of my family mm-hmm. and stuff, and maybe starting my own shit. Like just being comfortable mm-hmm. with where I'm at, like living all of that, like yeah. pretty much. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Now, like I said, I got this one question called Young Nigga Shit versus some shit, I, some shit I've been through. You're still young, but what's some shit that you was thinking as, like, a teenager that you look at on now, like, damn, I was tripping. Like, that you don't believe in those same, them same thoughts, like, from back then. Damn, like, damn, I was tripping? Yeah, like, I, I can't believe I was even thinking like that. Like, I would, I would never even think there's no shit like that right now. I think it's vice versa for me, like, it's vice versa. Like yeah. now, I be thinking like, damn, why the fuck did I get so soft? Like yeah. I was like really back then. Like, I used to. I was really, but you couldn't tell me shit. Like yeah. now, I'm just this motherfucker who just calm and collected and don't do nothing. Like yeah. chilling. <laughs> I used to be back then standing on business. Yeah. She getting me talking, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was like vice versa. I don't know. I can't think of nothing in my past that was like, damn, I was just, damn. Yeah. I didn't know shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, anything you would change on your on your start? Like, 
if you can go back, was there any, anything you would change on the start of how you came into music shit or started, you know what I'm saying, doing music? Uh, no, because a lot, you live and learn, but personally wise, I'll start to fuck over. Like, yeah. Some shit I was, let me just, I ain't got to go all the way back. Just take me back to like when I was maybe like 15, 14. Yeah, yeah, so you do some real shit a little different, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do, switch some shit around. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's uh what's something that you wanna start that you know what I'm saying now? Like you doing music, but is there anything else that you wanna start new? Business. Business. Definitely like a clothing line. Mm -hmm. That was like right after business. Like I wanted to start a clothing line and then I uh, I did attempt to start it, but I don't know, like I took a little break with it because trying to juggle music and a business at the same time, it was getting kinda of difficult for me. Mm -hmm. But definitely, I definitely gonna get back to that business. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Making the band, you know, making band. Diddy had to make a band group, you know. what I'm saying shout out to Diddy and shit, man. Keep your head up. But uh, <laughs> if you want one album, which I said, pause new, I don't know. But if you want one album to make a band album, like you and four other people, who would it be? It could be you and rappers, singers, producers, but it's you and four other people to make this making a band album. Who would it be? Make an album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Human four people. Anybody. Singers, rappers, producers. Just your perfect album. I know some people. Yeah, I want, we're gonna just, just, I can't even think. We're going like, to do two different albums. We're going to do the industry album with the niggas that's known. And we could do a local album with the people that, you know what I'm saying, you want to work with locally. Okay. How that make it easier? It's going to be me for the for the industry, like the, the known ones. Mm -hmm. It's going to be me. It's going to be Probably, probably Polo G. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's gonna be some other people. Um, uh, well, I don't even know his name, but he uh he made the song. You ever heard the song Tom's Diner? Uh, no. Nah. You ain't never heard the song Tom's Diner? No. Nah. Tom's Diner. That group? No, nah, you got. I gotta get him to that. Damn, you gotta listen to that shit. But it's uh, it was a music group. That had made the song uh Tom Steiner. That, yeah. And then for the last person, I would probably say, um, damn. let me think. I gotta think. Maybe Slick Rick. <laughs> yeah, man. Slick Rick was that nigga though. Storytelling like a motherfucker. Okay. The best Dr. Dre or somebody. Yeah, like. producer shit. Yeah, yeah. You can get you together. Hell yeah. Now what about the your local uh Go ahead, my bad. Your local album. Uh maybe mm, uh I think. <laughs> you already said what's that? I know some people, not just anything. I said, you said you said you was listening to Cash Kid like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'll do a song with him. Definitely, definitely Cash Kid. Yeah. But there's some people that I know. I just cannot think of their names right now. But yeah. I do got a starting foe. Yeah. I got a starting foe. For sure. For sure. It'll come to me. Yeah, yeah. Now, with that, with the project, you said it's coming out at the end of this month. Yeah. This month. <laughs> what, what do you want people to, like, do you want, like, this to make you take off more? Do you want to, like, you know what I'm saying? What do you want to get from this project? Like, what do you want people to know about you from this project? Uh, yeah, that, to take off more, for real, yeah. for real, like, listen to the music, like, I don't know, yeah. definitely to take off more, like, I don't think my music is therapeutic, so, mm -hmm. like, and, and you're doing it, like, it. you said you did a podcast yesterday, you're doing one today, what like, what other um shows, you got any shows that you, you know what I'm saying, got lined up, you got any other ways that you want to promote this, uh, this tape, like, uh yeah, I got some. I got like three shows lined up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, seven. You, you tripping? You just no, fine. But I know I only know like a couple off the top of my head. For sure. Yeah. So it's one in Cleveland. Okay. And that one is in November. Yeah. Like what? Sixteen? November sixteenth. <laughs> uh, then it's one in the city. Okay. Yeah. I'm in the city. Oh, and then you got one in Indianapolis. 
Okay. So that nice. one is on the. It's on the fly. So. <laughs> It's next month. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get out here. You gotta get out here. Like I said, shake hands and kiss babies. You gotta get out here. Even if you don't want to, you gotta, you gotta put that shit out here. But my thing is, and you gotta be on social media heavy. Like heavy, heavy, heavy. That's the one thing. Even if you don't feel like posting, you gotta post something. Like once you drop that tape, it gotta be a snippet. It gotta be the, the album cover. It gotta be something at least twice a day because you gotta think about like, I'm gonna do it when I first get up. I'm gonna do it before I go to bed. Like me, I do my shit when I first get up. In the middle of the day, and when I go to bed, with the algorithm, you never know when your shit gonna catch. So mm-hmm. niggas, and then your shit don't come in order. So you gotta make sure if you don't drop it enough on social media, then you just gonna fall to to the back. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never gonna see your shit. So yeah, nah, I'm gonna come up with a little dancey dance to one of my songs. I don't mm-hmm. know which one yet, but I met a choreographer. Mm-hmm. I said that correct? Yeah, for sure. Though you got it right. <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna see what she can do because yeah. I can't dance. But yeah. but it's all type of shit you gotta do. Like, and you gotta be on like the young nigga said, I gotta be on TikTok. So you know, yeah, that, that shit shaking my hips. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do a whole, you gotta do a whole bunch of shit. Make sure you get your shit out there and seeing in motherfuckers' faces because niggas will forget about you tomorrow. For literally fast. Hell yeah. Now I got this shit we do at the end called What's Worse. I give you two things, two different scenarios. You tell me which one is the worst of the two. Okay. What's worse, messing up in the studio or messing up on stage? Studio. Hmm. Studio. All right. What's worse? Find out your ex was a hoe before you was with them or after? Before I was with them, before. Like, what the fuck? I don't want to find out. What the fuck? You was fun with them like that. She was like, oh. Let me know beforehand. What's worse? A tall nigga with short arms or a short nigga with tall legs? <laughs> oh shit! Shit, long leg ass. <laughs> what was the first one? I think it's the first one. Right. They tall nigga with short arms. They got them T Rex arms, little arms and shit. Yeah, that one. Yeah. What's worse, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? No car, nice crib. Yeah. Nice crib, no car. Yeah. Which one worse? Damn, no car though. Hell yeah, but you got a dog ass crib. Oh, you got a dog ass. Not Uber, fuck it. Don't Uber. Hell yeah. Give me the nice crib. For sure, for sure. What's worse, dying from getting showered or getting stabbed to death? Mm. Stabbed probably would be worse. Hell yeah, you get that constant. It? What's worse, you got a kid and you don't have no money for their birthday or you don't have no money for Christmas? Uh, Probably. Probably Christmas. I don't know because what if like you don't celebrate Christmas with like hey, it depends. Excuse me, I think it depends on the problem. Yeah. Say probably Christmas because a birthday you can still make, make some somebody shit. feel special on their birthday. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's worse, find out find out your parents aren't your real parents or find out your siblings are adopted? Uh probably what would be worse for me is finding out my siblings was adopted because if if some people can knock on the door like <laughs> Hi, we a real parents. I would be like, <laughs> all right, bye. Like, I don't know. It wouldn't affect me. Like, I wouldn't be crying. Like, yeah. I don't know. What's worse, pissing out ping pong and shitting out bowling ball? <laughs> How do you, like, <laughs> uh, probably, um, shitting out a bowling ball? <laughs> See, I- no, like, both of them is pretty horrific. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What's worse, running from a fight or getting knocked out? First of all, if a big bitch is chasing me, I'm running. I don't give a fuck. I'm not fighting this this Godzilla-looking ass. No, I'm dipping. Yeah. So I would say probably getting knocked out. I'm not getting knocked out. I know can't, nobody can. Because now I got to quit yeah. your ass for recording. Because like, okay. you know the motherfucker's phones is coming out. Done. What's worse, find out your cheat, your mate is cheating through text or in action? What's worse? Yeah. In action. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. That should be traumatizing. <laughs> All right, this last one. What's worse, losing your losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> What's worse? Oh shit! Cause that that just opened a whole new like yeah, we, uh, process. Cause was he cheating like while we was together with with? Right. Oh shit! But oh shit! <laughs> that the thought the um uh, my ex. Yeah, yeah. Like damn, nigga, you gay nigga. Like, damn, damn. Yes. damn. They get me some slacks and then clap and then motherfucker. Yes. Yes. What's some advice you got for somebody who wants, you know what I'm saying, get to this music shit? You've been doing it for a little bit. What would be your advice for that person that, hey, I want to start rap tomorrow? Go for it. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. And when you do it, don't stop doing it. Like, just just keep keep going for real. For sure, for sure. And how do you want to be remembered? The realest nigga you ever met. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. What's the music too? Hell yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate you coming on the show. You know what I'm saying? It was dope talking to you. Shit. I feel like you was a thug back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Just you get to my how you calm down now. And shit. <laughs> tell, tell them where you can find you on social media and all that good stuff. Where you can find the music, everything. So the song ain't out yet. So I'm, you know, when it when it the release date come out, then I'll be letting you guys know. But um. Y'all can find me on Instagram at that's Nettie Spam. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna spell it out. That's T H A T S N E T T Y S P A M. Damn, I'm almost <laughs> drinking this motherfucker water and shit. And anything else you want to leave people with before we get about here? Any positive words? Anything you want to, you know what I'm saying? Don't drink and drive. Uh, Fuck y'all, huh? No, just not. Just, <laughs> fuck y'all. My mind be empty sometimes. Look at your life, nigga. <laughs> Look, I'm still tired from yesterday. I can't even. I'm trying to. Shit. Uh, don't always listen to what everybody got to say because it's not always good intentions behind it. For sure. That's some good words. That's some good words and shit, man. I ain't got no words for y'all niggas. Like I said, hey, man, just motherfucking shout for everybody. Episode 210. Got them Nettie in the building. Project dropping at the end of the month. She about going the whole podcast tour and shit. This motherfucker, dog. You know what I'm saying? Bye. Make sure y'all check the music out. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Best podcast in the city. If you think different, then fuck you. We out this motherfucker, dog. Peace.